It's extra busy here at the Xinjiang International Grand Bazaar as the regional capital Urumqi observes the Korban Festival. The bazaar, which is the largest of its kind in China, highlights facets of Islamic culture, from architecture to entertainment. So many people are here today to experience the festival and celebrate with us. I feel so proud. Non-Muslims, residents and tourists alike are also getting into the holiday spirit. Gao Hang from Hunan province says it's a good opportunity for his children to learn more about other ethnic traditions and beliefs. I know it's a very important festival for Muslims. I brought my family here to experience the culture. The Korban festival is traditionally a time for friends and family to get together, and the celebrations, for the most part, are spent at home. <laughs> this home in downtown Urumqi is packed. Eight families from three generations came together to enjoy a sizable feast. The highlight, a lamb slaughtered earlier in the day, a practice performed as a form of sacrifice to Allah. This is my parents' house, and we don't live with them anymore. Me and my siblings are mostly busy with our own lives, but thanks to Corbin, we're all able to have a reunion and celebrate. Traditionally, the meat from the slaughtered livestock is divided into three portions. One for the family, one for relatives and friends, and the rest goes to charity. An opportunity for the whole Muslim community to help those in need. We share the meat with people in the community who are unable to afford it. We do this so we can all equally enjoy this special occasion. The celebration is also never complete without the gift of music, led by the family's patriarch. We're so happy to be able to gather this year. Last year was very challenging because of the pandemic. The Korban festival is celebrated by over 10 ethnic groups across China. But unlike other parts of the country, Xinjiang, which is home to about 11 million Uyghurs, who are mostly Muslim, recognizes it as an official holiday. It runs for three days, allowing Muslims and even non-Muslims here to fully enjoy the festivities. Chuck, Tinte, CGTN, Urumqi in the Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region.